Okay, today we're going to learn how to check color contrast. I'm actually doing it in a PowerPoint because that's where most people like to add a lot of color. So first you're gonna open a PowerPoint um, and you go to the slide that you want to check and I've already done that. So the first thing we're gonna do after that is we're gonna open the color contrast analyzer. I have it on my desktop right here. If you do not have it, it's free. You just go to this website right here, https github.com, the Pacilio group, cc window release. Anyway, there's the website. Just go there and it's free. You can just download it. So I'm gonna open my color contrast analyzer. And you see here at the top, it's got foreground and background. And then each of these two sections have the color select, um, an eyedropper, or the hex number. Um, hex numbers are just color codes that you can use. Like for black, it's no, pound sign zero, 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 zero. <coughs> so what we're going to do so we're not going to use the color select because that would unless you're trying to change it you're not really you don't you need to use those what we're doing is just checking today so there's foreground and background our foreground is usually like our text so the first thing i'm going to do is make sure it says one pixel because that way I, it doesn't matter what the size of it is i can easily get it so click on your little eyedropper and we're going to go down here like our text here is white like you can see this is the number right there so we're just going to click right there and then we're going to go over here to the background again clicking on our little eyedropper we'll make sure it's one pixel so click on your eyedropper then come down to the background of where your text is and you can see here the white text with a black background and it pass, 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 pass. The AA and the AAA are just different levels of when people are trying to get things 508 compliant. So now we're gonna to go to a couple of more. We're going to select in our foreground this red. And then for our background, you can see if it had black background that this would pass, but that one would fail and these two would pass. So now our background is going to be this gray. And the, both of these failed. And it passed at this level, but failed at this level. This is for large text and this is large text. So it would pass for AA level, but not triple A level. And now we're gonna try it again on the yellow. Again, all we're doing is clicking the eyedropper and then clicking on, this is the background. And you can see these all failed because it's hard to read this yellow on this gray background. Now, if I made this background black, let me see if I can make the background black. <laughs> nope, not that one. And we're going to check the background color. And you can see it passed because you can actually read that. And that's all it is to check in the color contrast. You can do it for any document, website, anything. I was just using a PowerPoint because, like I said, people like to put color in on PowerPoints. 
you have any questions, just let me know.